guys, it's Trail Killer here. Uh, today's video is going to be a little bit different than most other videos just because there's limited footage and uh, there's a lot to talk about. So I'll throw in little clips here and there as we talk about this trip. Uh, it started out just like any other trip where we headed up to uh, New Hampshire and uh, decided to stay at a hotel just to get better sleep. You want to wake up, bitch? I've been awake. Alright. Time to go. Time to go. Maybe. We're on the way when I'm driving. Oh, how, long, how far are we from there? We are about a half an hour from the trailhead. Mm -hmm. And what trailhead is it? It's the Appalachian Trailhead. Is it the end of that AT? Or damn close to it, right? Close. Close. It's probably one of the most popular trailheads in New Hampshire, uh, White Mountains. Do you know the name? Appalachia. Oh, Appalachia. Oh, yeah, Appalachia. Appalachia. Trailhead. That's with it. There's like 12 different trails that go out of here. It's kind of like a uh, like like major jump. Oh, so it's not part of the AT. Uh, the Appalachian Trail is up there, mm. but like 60 other trails are too. <laughs> Appalachia, is it like Laquisha? It's just like someone was trying to do Appalachian, but they just dropped the N off of the end. Mm. Like, La they, like they, Laquishan, and then she went to a Laquisha. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Oh, yes. This is the, uh, the snowshoes. What does that mean? We got about five feet of snow um, recorded. And like 15, negative 15 degrees to start out with, with up to 70 mile per hour gust, I believe. So where's your... It's going to be a good time. We, uh, we decided to stop into a hotel. Between the two buttons. That is about a half an hour away because we wanted to have four good hours of sleep instead of sleeping in the car like normal. Considering the weather is going to be pretty ridiculous. And uh, it was well worth it. I mean, split between three people. 25 bucks a piece. Or so, 30 bucks, four hours of good sleep, and then we get to pack up our stuff and make it nice without having to freeze while we're doing it. It's only a half moon. That is part of my six person Marmont tent. I'm thinking, everybody split up my Marmont tent. I believe the Marmont yeah. tent was like 17 pounds, Sean. Uh, 18 pounds, 15 ounces, so we can call it 19. So we all pretty much, it split up pretty good the fly, the main body, and the poles. We're actually pretty even, all about like uh, five and a half pounds each. And uh, I have the poles. Sean has the fly and TJ stuffed in there somewhere. Has the actual body of the tent. This is always fun. This is a nice little piece of equipment there you got. How much was that thing? Like 15 bucks on Amazon. That's awesome. They get a shout out. All right. Forty-four point. It's called forty-four. All right, about ten pounds lighter than mine. Congratulations. I do have five pounds of camera gear on my front pack, though. Yes. So I got about fifty pounds total, but for regular backpacking gear, forty-four. Gotcha. All right, we're gonna do TJ's. Nine, forty, forty point eighteen. Forty point eighteen. I need to give you some of my shit. <laughs> nice what job. What the fuck? You're the one that wanted a fucking uh, eight course French made meal tomorrow night. I do have how much? Was that 11 pounds of food? 11 pounds of yeah. pure food. Yeah. Fifty-seven and a half. Nice. All right. Unlike most of our other trips, uh, me and Sean do. Uh, Syntax 77, we uh, decided to bring a big tent and try to do a base camp. Um, more fun, kind of brought lots of food, steaks, and baked potatoes, and we were thinking we would just base camp and hang out and cook food and then do some day hikes, and uh, didn't really, really work out, and we'll tell you why, or I'll tell you why. We started on our way to the trailhead.
we were expecting about negative 15 degree temperatures um, during the hike and you know it started out about I'd say negative 10 negative 15 and man I'll tell you what that is a lot colder than 30 degrees um, last year we did a hike and it was negative or 30 degrees and it was a lot of fun um, cold but a lot of fun negative 15 that's a whole different story I mean just to take my hands out of my gloves just to even film or, or grab a snack you get cold pretty quick um, different experience it's not as uh, enjoyable that's for sure but we pushed on and we uh, got to the, uh, the top of uh, Madison and our plan was to go down um, the other side and kind of base camp and then do some day hikes up to Adams however we couldn't find the trail. All the wind, there was 50 mile per hour gusts, blew all the snow on the other side and all we saw was tops of trees. We couldn't even tell where a trail was. So the best idea was to turn around, backtrack base camp down somewhere else, and then uh, basically go to Adams the next day. So we uh, leveled out a spot, put the big old tent up, and uh, decided to try a night there. So every single piece of wood that I found, even if it was dry, had snow on it and ice. Uh, it was very difficult to start a fire. I did my best, but it, it failed. I, I mean, I couldn't keep things lit. Plus, I was just too darn cold. Um, we were able to boil water. And as I put my water into my Nalgene, my boiling water, um, I closed the top on, thinking it was closed. It was, however, not completely closed. And I didn't know it. I threw it in my bag. I went to get in my bag, maybe 15 minutes later, and my whole bag was frozen. Uh, I had leaked out, it melted that piece of ice that I didn't notice was on there, and uh, I decided that I was going to stay the night with no bag, and it was negative 30 degrees. I couldn't, uh, you know, big spoon or cuddle with the, the other two guys because if I did, their down bag would get completely unlofted and they'd be cold. So I decided to just suck it up and I uh, had my down pants, my big down gloves, my down booties, and I stole, I used every single hand warmer I could find and basically so stood and sat down the whole entire night until the morning. Let me tell you, that was the longest morning of my life, or longest night of my life. Um, I couldn't wait till morning. We packed up and we booked it down the hill because it wasn't safe to stay there another night. Honestly, uh, negative 30 degrees is unforgiving. Um, uh, it's just just not fun. It really isn't. I can do it. I survived it. Um, I definitely wouldn't have brought a base camp and a lot of stuff to do that again. I would have just did my minimalist stuff that I'm used to, but I did try to make this fun and wasn't expecting it to be that cold. So we went back down to the uh, trailhead, got back in the car, went into town, got a hotel, dried out our stuff, took a nap, and got lots of food. And the rest of the trip was just a lot of fun. Here's some clips from that. Lots of food. TJ had uh, taught me something, what he saw in some gay video, but it is very cool. And so you don't have any disproportionate taste of the cupcake, he said, to break the bottom and make a sandwich, and then everything's good, and I like it. Not bad. Well, a pear pie is really good. We are off to go to Delaney's after a uh, three hour nap. And uh, not terribly hungry, but uh, could definitely go for a beer. Soup, fries, and fries. 
Boom. Oh, that's Got a little bit of snow on the way out. It's beautiful. And the next day, uh, we grab some breakfast. Day three. Breakfast time. town looked around a little bit and then we got in the car and we started heading back don't you know another snowstorm it took about an hour even just to go about 30 miles maybe um, so it was we were tired but we made it home and uh, I learned a valuable lesson this is my lesson about the bottle all right as promised I uh, wanted to go over what happened with my Nalgene bottle so this is one style. I have the regular Nalgene style also, but it doesn't matter because both of them did it and it had both had the same problem. And uh, honestly, this is common sense. And after I thought about it, I, I realized why the hell did I even do that? Two reasons. One, I was very cold. It was like negative 30 degrees. I was probably hypothermic. Um, I wasn't thinking correctly and I was trying to rush things. And two, um, I just made a mistake. And sometimes that happens. So hopefully this experience will help other people not to make this mistake. So obviously there was ice that was in the cap. Because I remember trying to put it on and I was like, I can't get this thing on. So then I thought that if I chipped a little way and kind of melted some, I put it on after the boiling water was in here and it had a gap about this much. And I thought that was kind of odd, but I was like, eh, you know, me being tired. And I was like, oh, oh, well. And then I didn't want it to freeze up again, even though it wouldn't have that fast. And I wanted to put it in my bag to keep it warm. So I threw it in my bag. Well, hot water finally started to melt the top and then leaked all over my bag because there was too much play in it. <laughs> Simple but stupid mistake. And then I froze all night because I couldn't use my sleeping bag. So really, if you have ice on the top and you have my experience, you get it on a little bit and then the heat is obviously gonna do the rest of its job and then you check it and then you put it on and you tighten it and then you put it in a plastic bag or something. But really, if I would've just tightened it afterwards, it would've been fine. And it probably would've took 15 minutes, not even five, maybe something like that. So hope that uh, experience helps somebody not make that mistake. So thanks for watching Trail Killer. Um, again, this is a different kind of video, limited footage, but you know why. Hope everybody learns a lesson on, in terms of um, watching your Nalgene bottle for frozen ice and not just throwing your bag. I would definitely uh, make sure that even if you did put the cap on, you just let it sit for a while because it will melt with boiling water. And then at that point, you can tighten the cap on more. And also some guys will put it in a plastic bag. I completely lost my mind there. And I hope this mistake helps a lot of others. And uh, I don't recommend neg negative 30 um, degree camping. It's not very fun. Uh, it's doable. It's just not fun. So until next time, see you guys later.